Hi there everybody, welcome back. Tonight we are looking at a stock which people have asked us to look at for a very long time. The company is called Nano Dimensions. They are listed as NNDM. I'm sure you've probably heard of this company before, but today we're looking at how it has been moving over the past few weeks and months, and then of course giving my opinions on the company going forwards into the next few weeks and months. So if you do want to hear that, if you want to hear all of my opinions, make sure to leave a like on this video and obviously subscribe to this channel if you have not already, because we talk about all different sorts of stocks every single day so you know if you were to subscribe it would not go amiss obviously though this is not financial advice i'm sure you are already aware of that but i just thought i'd restate it for my safety and for your safety as well and now that i've done so we're going to jump into this one looking at how it has been moving first on the charts so we're going to head over to these more simple Yahoo Finance charts in opposed to the more technical ones we're going to have a look at what we have seen recently for NNDM Right, so basically on Friday, which was of course the most recent trading day, we saw a lot of volatility in the shares price. So initially things looking great for Friday, picking ourselves up from 9.30, all our price about $7.80, all the way up to highs around the $8 mark. So again, things moved in a very nice way for the morning, but it wasn't to last. We hit these highs up here and this actually did come back to similar highs up here in the $8.09 range. Uh, and actually from there we fell. So from 11.17 onwards, the rest of the day was unfortunately red this comes after a red week for nndm we started off the week on nndm's uh, share price being eight dollars 24 coming towards the end of the week we actually hit a price of about seven dollars 82 so we did see a bit of a decrease over the past week the past month is showing pretty negative things once more the share price is obviously down in the past month we hit highs in the past 30 days at a price of eleven dollars 48 or at least around there and obviously we have dropped significantly since then now in the past six months we have seen this share price take a significant sell-off we saw it actually start to drop initially anyway and then with market conditions being not the best with a lot of stocks actually being down a lot of the market being down and ndm just continued to drop further and we are seeing that now in the share price now one thing which does look kind of decent for nndm look at the charts is we are starting to find a bit of a base up here which is around the $7.50 range and above. And again, that is fantastic. So we can see previously uh, this white, this you know slightly white line here, slightly gray even, is actually the $7.50 range. And so far, it has been a very long time since we have been below that. So that is fantastic. Last time we went past that was on the 7th of March, I do believe. So again, we have been strong above there uh, for quite a long time. And even then, the wick towards the bottom of the candle actually did pass it, but the actual candlestick did not for both the 7th and what looks to be the 6th of March show again things looking pretty decent we look to be finding a support around this $7.50 range and yes we are slightly above it now which is fantastic hopefully we can stay above there I think honestly now that Nana Dimensions has sold off so much you know we are pretty much down almost 50% from the highs of the share price you could be asking yourself actually a bit more than 50% if we do look from the absolute highs you could be asking yourself is it time to buy NNDM well let's have a look at what the company does have a look about a few important pieces of information which you may want to know about the company and make our minds up so we're going to start off by looking at their website giving a little bit of a definition of the company now please do bear me bear with me with this one but i am going to try and read this one to the best of my ability feel free to pause the video to read it yourself if you do want to take the time to do so or just head over to their website which you can see listed on screen so, Nano Dimensions. Nano Dimension, under the ticker symbol NNDM, is a provider of intelligent machines for fabrication and additively uh, manufactured electronics. So, this is also known as AME. High fidelity active electronics and electromechanical sub, sub assemblies are integral enablers of autonomous, uh, intel intelligent drones, cars, satellites, smartphones and vivo medical devices they necessitate the inter interactive uh, development of ip safety fast fast time to market device performance gains uh, there thereby mandating ame for in-house rapid prototyping and production Nano dimension machines are cross in, serve cross industry needs by depositing proprietary consumable conductive uh, dielectric materials whilst concurrently integrating in situ capacitors, antennas, coils, transformers, electromechanical components to function at 
unprecedented performance. So there we go. Now that I mentioned bridges the gap between PCB and semiconductor integrated circuits, a revolution uh, at the click of a button from CAD to a functional high performance AME device in hours, solely at the cost of the consumable materials. So again, if you did understand any of that, a lot of it was quite technical, we can get a bit of a basis of what the company does. Basically what they do is basic, basically summed up as fabrication and 3D printing to sum things up very, very simply. And again, if you do want to have a bit more of a deep dive on their website, you can see what they do. So again, it's, it's literally just fabrication services and that kind of stuff. Uh, we're going to look a little bit more into this in a moment. But this is a very, very big industry. If you look at the growth which is expected for this industry, it is very, very large. Uh, we can see some growth statistics. So this is only metal printing market in the 3D sector. And this is the forecast of growth that we are going to see apparently going forwards. So we can see from where we are now in 2021 up until 2027, we're looking at seeing some really, really big gains in this sector. And don't get me wrong, there are many different sectors of the 3D printing market sector. And of course, metal was just one of those. And if you look at all of the different sectors, we can see that these are all basically forecast to grow. We can see here 3D market, uh, but market printing uh, by region this is actually expected to grow as well going forwards we can see where we are now it is still decent but there is a lot of room to go going forwards i think this is going to be or at least could potentially be quite lucrative for nndm so what are some other things which you might want to know about the company? Well, let's first off start by having a look at the CEO and president. The guy's name is Yoav Stern. I hope that I pronounced that correctly. But basically, Mr. Stern is a seasoned executive with a proven track record spanning decades in his, oper in his, in his operating roles as CEO, chairman, as well as active hands-on investor in high-tech companies, specializing in, mach in machine vision, fiber octaves, uh, defense tech, communications solutions, aerospace, and homeland security. So let's just start off by a little decipher of that. Obviously, this guy is very experienced. He has decades worth of experience and a proven track record. This is fantastic. So, of course, this is a type of guy that you do want in charge of your company. That is great to see. He's got a lot of experience in many different sectors, which is great as well. I think he really does have a lot to bring to the board for NNDM, as we can tell. And if we look a bit further, we can see see, Mr. Stern has built several successful companies from humble beginnings of $8 million in annual revenues up to $330 million in annual revenue. Wow, that is a rather large gain. Well done, Mr. Stern. So we can see the type of guy that we are dealing with. This guy has a lot of potential and a lot to bring to this company, which is great. So he actually uses uh, the development of effective strategies, uh, re religious execution that resulted in impressive organic growth and generated attractive M&A opportunities for scale. Mr. Stern has a BSc degree in mathematics and, com and computer science as well, uh, a diploma in automation and mechanical engineering, and an MA in international regulations from N. Uh, why you so again this guy has a lot to talk about we have a lot to talk about regarding this guy he does seem to be a very 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 uh, you know seasoned person when it comes to what he is doing he's a great ceo for the company i do believe that is the case nndm has a lot of strong people working for them you can see a few members of staff on here we have the cfo we have the coo and a lot of different members again feel free to view this in your own time i do want to make this video as quick as possible for you guys but i do think at least team this team is solid honestly a lot of potential coming from all of these members. I think this is great. I think NNDM, with their trustworthy team, with their decent team behind them, is in a very strong position. Now, some recent news that we have is only a few days ago, NNDM, or at least uh, only quite recently, if we do look to the date that this was published, it was back on April the 7th, so not too long ago, uh, NNDM actually announced Z ZV Nevadi, uh, I think that's how you pronounce it, appointed as a new president, so fantastic. If we have a quick read of uh, Mr. Nevadi, we can see that he has been the CEO of several technology companies, including Siloom Technologies, a world leader in chemical lighting solutions that manufactures co columinescent, I do believe that is, uh, ammunition, 
and and infrared camera devices by US and NATO military forces. So that is fantastic. Again, we have somebody here that is also very, very experienced. We can see down here that he is also very interested and excited for his appointment in uh, the new president role at NNDM, which is great. He has extensive global experience in leading and growing innovative technology companies like NNDM with significant expertise in mergers and acquisitions. So this is a real bit that I do want to focus on. He has significant expertise in mergers and obviously acquisitions. And this is something which NNDM could be looking to do in the future. We've spoken about this before and we will speak about it again. NNDM does have a lot of cash on their side. If we can have a quick look to this article back on the 4th of March, we can see that NNDM has apparently raised over 1.4 billion in the past six months. And again, this definitely could be for an acquisition or something and this would be fantastic so realistically nndm does have the potential to do an acquisition or a merger or something along those lines is 100 percent possible they have the funds and now from this new uh, president mr zivi navadi it looks like they also have the expertise to do that so we can see look at this nndm really is in a very very strong position in my opinion at least going forwards we could be seeing an acquisition or something along those lines happen in the near future future. Now, one thing which I also find quite interesting is Kathy Wood. So, Kathy Wood, you've probably heard of her by now. She runs the ARK funds, the ARK Invest funds. She actually has quite a lot of shares in NNDM, and she's always saying stuff about NNDM. So, if we do have a quick look down here, we can see the amount of shares that she does own in her ARK funds. We have ARK funds, ARK Next Generation ETF, which owns over 5.8 million shares, worth $45 million. And we can see ARK Autonomous Technology and Robotics ETF which owns 7.1 million shares worth about 55 million dollars so again she owns quite a lot of shares uh, and she is quite bullish on the company if we look at what she has said in the past we can see that she always looks for where defense is putting their money right now and that is something which nndm are doing because they are actually winning uh, contracts from defense agencies so fantastic kathy wood has also said that she is happy with the management from nndm in the past and that is fantastic we can see that also she has said originally it used to be a, P a 3d printed circuit company and now they are actually broadening their horizon into a 3d printed uh, technology device company so again a bit more of a more inclusive hold that they will have on the market so fantastic and Kathy would say more and more good things about this company is good news in my opinion. I do think that this company has a lot of potential and apparently Kathy Wood does agree. So obviously when Kathy Wood does speak, a lot of people do listen. I think a lot of investors probably will be, you know, reassured or perhaps even inspired to buy NNDM off what Kathy does say. So right now, I think NNDM is in a very strong position, honestly. I think they have a lot going for them. Their company, which, I mean, sorry, their staff, which manages them, is fantastic. I do love the management team. They have a lot of potential. Again, we've just seen that they have a lot of funds as well, a real experienced amount of staff behind them, and this definitely could lead up to a merger or an acquisition going forwards, and this is something which we would all love to see. It would definitely help NNDM to continue to expand, and that would be fantastic. So again, let's have a look at the share price and what we could potentially expect going forwards. Well, I definitely think or I definitely hope at least that NNDM is in a position now where it could hopefully start to pick itself up. Honestly, I'm very happy with how NNDM has been so far. Yes, it has been dropping for a very long time, but honestly, with how the market has been, it's not the worst story that we have been seeing. And even looking at these lows down here, we can see that NNDM has actually pulled itself up a little bit since then. And it could actually be hinting the start of a bit of a turnaround for NNDM. NNDM share price. So ultimately, would I buy NNDM stock right now? Personally, guys, I would consider NNDM to be a buy, but obviously, if you're buying this one, it is more of a long term hold as the market does continue to expand and as NNDM does hopefully continue to grow as a company. I do believe that this company has a lot of potential to grow, especially with the management that they do have behind them. It's a real solid company, it's a real solid team, and I would love to see things start to pick themselves up. So hopefully we have found a bottom now for NNDM and we can start to reverse into next week. If that is the case, I'd be great and very happy to buy the stock and I already am happy with how it is so far. 
So again, if it does start to go up, it would be a little bit of a sign in my eyes of a bit of a turnaround and a bit of a reversal for NNDM. Again, we are actually making a bit of money now from these lows, only a small percentage that we are up, but if you'd have bought these at the lows, you would have actually been up in your position right now. But still, I don't think it's too late to buy NNDM at all. I think the best is still yet to come when looking at this company. That's just my personal thoughts though. So thank you for joining me for this relatively quick video. I'll see you all again very soon. Goodbye until the next episode. See you then.